Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did these super cute and easy water marble or color nails on my sister. So I have them prepped and ready to go. Let's dive in. So I'm going to apply the frosty paws onto her ring finger and her middle finger on both of her hands and then we're going to cure. Now what this is going to do, it's going to reflect through our watercolor and give it a really pretty pearl finish. I'm going in with the Glacier Blue now and I'm going to apply it onto her pinky and her other thumbnail just to offset them because I didn't want them to be mirroring each other. I just wanted the center fingers to be mirrored. This Glacier Blue is from Magic Gels glitter statement collection. I had done a review on it here a couple weeks ago so make sure you go and check that out. There's some really great colors in this collection and I'm going to use two more here on her nails. I'm going in with lavender mist and I'm going to apply it onto her other pinky nail and then I'm putting it on her pointer nail on her other hand. So this cosmic strawberry I ended up doing this on this thumbnail and then I put it on the other pointer nail. I'm not even going to try with left and rights because it's just going to look too confusing in the video with how I'm explaining the placements of these colors, but you, you get the gist of it. Alright, so after I'm finished this pointer, I'm going to encapsulate them all. Now I only show one nail being encapsulated because I decided to just do it off camera as well as the finish filing. I'm going in with Ugly Duckling Tackless Top Coat, or No Wipe Top Coat, I guess. Same thing, different pile. Anyways, then I'm going to finish curing it. Now, I just want to mention, you don't have to use a tackless top coat. That is kind of better, especially for beginners, because with a tackless, it seems to run into the skin more, which I found out. So, be warned. So, I'm going in with this purple from Wildflowers out of the ink set. And I'm just making sure that I have all the white covered because with my stamp that I'm going to use, I don't want it to take away from that. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this and check it out because I'm basically just playing around with these and amusing us. That's as far as it goes. So before I forget to mention or talk about it, I am using acetone to maneuver the colors around and take away. This also helps to lighten them up, whereas alcohol will keep them looking at the same color. And it seems to also like spread differently, if that makes sense. I will have a review video coming up on these with a demonstration with the differences between acetone and alcohol as well as showing you on tackless and top coat, as well as a few things that you can do and things that I have done with it. Now here you can kind of see that pearl finish that I was talking about. It really does give a really neat look to the watercolor. It's almost like a magical stained glass look. That's what I'm going to call it.
So once I'm done, I'm just going over these with some tackless top coat again, just to protect them from stamping in case I make a mistake and then I'm not wiping all of that work away. So I'm going to use this Moira Nature Stamping Plate. And here we go. So after I'm done the stamping, I'm going in with my Light Elegance Super Shiny and I'm sealing them all up and curing each hand separately. Then I'm going in and doing a second coat and then after that, I always wait a minute for them to cool down. Then I'll cleanse them and then hydrate and all done. So before we're all out of time here, I just want to say thank you guys so much for popping in and checking out this video. If you haven't checked out the rest of my channel, be sure to do that and like and subscribe. I also want to hear what kind of videos you guys want to see from me. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Unique Nails by Monique. Take care. Bye.